To find the oxidation number for each element in KNO2 potassium nitride, we use these rules here and a periodic table. So when we look at potassium, we find it on the periodic table, it's in group one. As we go down our rules, elements in group one have a plus one oxidation number. If we look for nitrogen here, we won't see it. So we can't figure nitrogen out yet from this table, but we do see that oxygen has a minus two oxidation number almost all the time. So that's the oxidation number on the oxygen. So we can use this information here and the fact that in a neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers, they add up to zero. This is a neutral compound because there's no plus or minus charge out here like with an ion. So we can write up a statement like this. We could say plus one, that's the oxidation number on the potassium, plus the nitrogen's oxidation number, we don't know that, plus oxygen we said was minus two, and we have two oxygens. And all of this, because it's a neutral compound, needs to add up to zero. For this to be true, the oxidation number on the nitrogen needs to be a positive three. Plus one and plus three, that's four, plus minus four gives us zero. So the oxidation number on the nitrogen in KNO2 is plus three. And all these numbers here, they'll add up to zero because this is a neutral compound. To recap, we found the oxidation numbers for the elements we knew, the K and the O2, and we used that information to find the oxidation number for the nitrogen. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for KNO2, potassium nitride. Thanks for watching.